Hey everyone. Um, it's been um, a little over a month since I um, came out and shared um, my health issues that I've um, been going through for the last, uh, then it was 14 months. I just um, hit 15 months and I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of my friends that have reached out to me um, via text message, messenger, a phone call, or even stop by the house. Um, thank you, it, it, it really, um, words cannot describe um, how that's made me feel. Um, and I just wanted to give an update um, that I do believe that whatever the reason that there is a higher purpose that I'm going through this. Um, I don't know what it is, but I do know that if anybody can heal me from this, it is our Savior Jesus Christ. Um, and I pray to God every morning that um, I wake up and I'm able to see the sunrise and the sunset because that is something that's not promised to anyone. But um, I, I have um, lots of reading um, on top of what I've already been reading, but I just wanted to share with a couple of things that a couple of friends have dropped by, but this is um, Freedom in Christ, The Steps to Freedom. It's a, a, a workbook. Um, God's promises for your every need. Uh, it's just verses that, you know, every morning I wake up, I'll read a couple. And before I go to bed, I'll read a few. Um, this one I'm going to start today um, by Louise Hay. You can heal your life. And this one resonates a lot with me. Um, I am probably not the most optimistic person. I'm probably more of a pessimist. However, this has made me, um, like I said, it's, it's, it's made my faith deeper. It's made me give up control because I'm not in control, God is in control. And allowing him to, um, to take charge and to lead me. Um, and he will also be the one that will ultimately heal me. And I believe that with all my heart. Um, I had two friends that don't know each other, two completely different friends within days apart. Um, both got me these two books I just started, The Miraculous Stories of the Healing Power of Prayer, Faith Still Moves Mountains by Harris Faulkner. So I, I will bless someone else with the, my second copy, but um, it's all about faith. So for two reasons, um, on top of just letting everyone know what's been going on with me. Um, selfishly, I know that there's power in prayer. And is if you have more people praying for you and you have, you know, just prayer warriors here, prayer warriors there, I mean, that's just even more so that God is hearing your plea um, for healing, for, for, for health. Um, so thank you for those that have added me to your, your prayer groups, your, your church groups, your prayer work, warrior circles. Um, but secondly, I want to shed light on the vaccine injured. Um, unfortunately I'm one of them, uh, and I'm not alone and I feel as though our government and the media has done an amazing job of censoring um, 
anyone that comes out and says otherwise. Um, I know a lot of people that have been vaccinated that are just fine. Uh, I personally do not know. I've made friends uh, with support groups of people that um, have a vaccine injury and they vary from a multitude of things. Um, mine was vascular, so, um, and I'm still taking medications. Um, my antibody levels um, are still really, really high. Uh, my natural antibodies and the, the vaccine antibodies is almost like a autoimmune response, but um, they have not gone down. I just had blood work done a week ago. So I, I still, that is one of my prayers is for um, God to rid this, the spiked protein out of my system so I can get my life back uh, to normal and to just living and being able to plan things and um, work. Um, it's been extremely difficult, but um, I'm not giving in. I am um, trying my best to be as positive um, as I can be because again, it's it's made my sh my faith so 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 much stronger, um, and that's all because of. I do know that there's God is the ultimate healer and I have so many um, people in my life that love me and care about me and and some people that are strangers. I, I had somebody that I, I don't even know and uh, she inboxed and asked if she could call and pray with me. So, um, it's just getting back to the basics of letting, leading your life with God and, and allowing him to go through the process. It might not be as fast as I want it to be, but um, I know that it will happen. But again, this is, I wanted it to be just a quick update and mainly to say thank you, thank you, thank you, um, thank you. Um, please, please keep me in your prayers and I will continue to update you and like I said, uh, bring awareness to um, the big picture that there are a lot of people that are vaccine injured that are being silenced and I'm not going to be silenced and I will speak on behalf of them if I have to, um, which I think that's kind of what I'm doing now. But um, anyway, I love you all. God bless. Thank you.